Yeah. So, uh, about the workability of the affirmative's voter ID implementation, um, my opponents state that uh, all you need is a, a voter ID. All you need is. Um, but in order to, to uh, procure a voter ID, you sometimes need a. Uh, you need some other form of identification. You can't just walk into the DMV and say, hi, I live down the street, I'd like an ID. So what do you need? You need a birth certificate, social security card, a voter ID card, passport, or something issued by, for most states, like the uh, state of Tennessee, you need um, a state ID, uh, a passport, a valid uh, private or public college identification, government employee identification, in order to, this is just to get a driver's license. Um, you, some of these people, there's a case of a woman who's been voting for the past 50 years. She is 90 years old. She was adopted. She has no birth certificate. She can no longer vote. She's been voting for 50 years. According to Democrats.org, states that if photo ID laws pass in California, pass in, in the proposed 35 states, including California and Texas and New York, that collectively they will spend $828 million. And once again, this does not prevent fraud throughout the electoral process, just at the polls. How many people, once again, would go, would simply, that, that for whatever reason, have a, have a, a regular voting fraudulent day, every election day, how many of those people would be pushed to go to absentee ballots instead of going to the polls? All of them. Because they could just do it there so much easier without having to provide ID. So once again, it does not stop voter fraud. Barbara Arwine, president and executive director of the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law, says that more than 20 million people have no ID issued by the DMV. Often people that don't they don't have the required birth certificate or social security card, and for example, needed to acquire a license or government issue for the DMV. According to uh, the your own CaliforniaDMV.org, your state ID will cost you thirty-three dollars with a proper with a proper documentation such as a birth certificate and social security card. So, in closing, that. Um, they are not easy to attain. It will not prevent fraud. And people will be pushed to commit fraudulent acts through the absentee ballot system. And it doesn't snow in Texas. Wait a minute. It does. 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 It does.